Well, there are a lot of big names to be seen at the North Dakota State Fair, a lot of concerts and stuff. So if you wander around there, who knows who you'll run into. That's right. But today we took a break from the concerts to focus on another fuzzy fair attraction. Hi guys, I'm at the fair and your particular exhibit caught my eye. Can you tell our viewers what you guys do? Is what we're doing here is we brought the sheep to town to show and we're getting them ready for the show starting on on Sunday morning and then Monday morning and the kids will show every day next week and we're just getting them cleaned up and getting them trimmed up and get them ready for the show. Excellent. So how long does something like this typically take to get ready for? When we start like on this one, she, we'll, we'll have a couple hours into her before we get her back to her pen by the time we get her done and ready and, and everything's complete on her. As we're walking around, can you kind of describe why certain ones look the way they do? These over here, these are a Suffolk breed, the black faces, they're a meat breed. And is what they do is they'll wash them before they come to the fair and put these blankets on and then they'll trim them when they get here and put the blankets and the hoods back on to keep them clean. On this side, we have the Columbias and they're a wool breed. And we just have to hand trim them. We don't do any wash and we, we hand trim them and get them ready for the show and clean their faces up a little bit. And how long does it take to hand trim them? 45 minutes to an hour. And typically, do they get upset or they just are really chill? They sometimes they'll get mad and want, don't want to be up there, but most 90% of the time they just stand there and they're pretty comfortable. So they think it's all right. Do you have to prep them, like give them a pep talk to be like, hey, you know, we're just going to trim you for a little bit? No, is what we do is the kids will start tying them up about a month before the fair and work with them and get them halter broke. So by the time that we put them on the stand, they're pretty good at standing there and being all right. Excellent. And do you expect to take home a few trophies this year? Yeah, we expect to uh, have some grand champion ribbons and some trophies at the end of the week. So, yeah, that's what our expectations are. We'll see how it ends. Yep, I'm rooting for you guys. And I heard of wool socks, but you were telling us about some other things that these sheep do with clothing and things. Like yes, that. on your on your wool breeds, like the Columbia's, the white faces here, they'll take them clothes and, and make you know, socks and, 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 and sporting wear with them and, and, and things like that. You get into the Rambouillet breed over here and that's a little finer wool and they'll make high end suits and, and, and the high end clothing over. And a lot of that wool ends up in Europe in, in the clothing industry over there. Um, and there's some of that is used for sports wear. Um, they make now out of the, the fi little finer wool, they'll make activity wear out of it to help the athletes wear it. And it's getting to be very popular. You get into the, the, the black face sheep and their wool isn't quite used as much in the clothing industry. It's blended with the other stuff for your, your, your socks and, and some of those lower expensive um, wool material that, that's made and sold. So, oh, like a wool blend. Yes, yes. And that's where they use the black face sheep wool at. That makes sense. Well, thank you so much. You are so knowledgeable and that was so cool learning about the sheep and all they offer. Well, and then there's a lot of things that a sheep can offer. And right now in the United States, it's it, they're very popular. So it, it's a good things for the sheep industry. Yep, absolutely. Okay, now I think it feels good getting a haircut afterward. I can't imagine how good that felt. You know, I was just thinking that it was just exactly like <laughs> when I'm at the barber. You know, it's the same sort of situation. Oh, because it's hot out. So shearing all of that, you know, wool off, that's got to feel so good for them. That's right. And there's a lot more fun at the fair. Tomorrow we're going to show the pig racing. Event. Exciting. So Carmel gets to uh, show us that, which is really fun. And you said mm -hmm. that you have wrestled a pig. Yeah, I've uh, <laughs> twice I've pig wrestled at the Oliver County Fair. Okay. Is and there actually, a video of this? Um, I don't know if I have video. <laughs> I definitely have a nice picture with okay. me, and, me and my little porky friend. <laughs> <laughs> and how'd it go? Did you win? Uh, we won second place my first year. Oh, wow. That is so funny. Okay, well, we need to move on. Today is a big day. It's National Lipstick Day. Yes, and we asked Desiree from Desiree's Makeup and Beauty Lounge to show us the best way to apply lipstick. <laughs> 